Next slide. This is a system overview of current with Coochie plant, and that's the with the Coochie plant there without any water around it. Uh, the current capacity is 8 MGD, that's an average day, annual daily flow. Uh, peak treatment flows up to 12 MGD. During these flood events, we get, uh, during the 2009 flood event, we had a flow coming into that plant. We lost count at 24 million gallons per day. That's how much water was. Our system was the 54 inch uh, line that feeds that plant was totally covered with water that was coming in the vent stacks on top of the manholes. So we lost count at 24 MGD and it's only a 12 MGD treatment plant. And 2013, I think we were peaking out around 18, 16 or 18 million gallons a day coming in. <clears throat> Uh, future plant, we're actually building a new plant, we're in the process of construction now, and that's going to be a, a daily capacity of 12, uh, 12 MGD, uh, peak daily uh, capacity of 18 MGD, and the capability of treat up to a peak hourly flow of 38 million gallons a day. And the reason we're able to do that, we can treat 32 million through the plant, we have a 6 million gallon equalization basin, when we have high stormwater uh, flows, we can sequester that in the EQ basin and blend it back into the system later on. So we built in a lot of redundancy, a lot of additional capacity, and the plant is under construction now. Then our smaller plant, Mud Creek, we went through a renovation uh, that was completed in 2012. It was a $41 million project. It expanded, the, almost doubled the capacity to 5.7 million gallons a day, and it uh, uh, renovated all the existing treatment plants. And that plant has a, uh, able to treat peak flows of up to 17 million gallons a day. Henry, one point on that 